Hello, I am fighting Pontiff Sullivan again. I'm going to try to parry him. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, it's only like my fourth time fighting him. Wow, but he's missing me, so I can't parry him. Okay, I've I've actually been watching my. Uh, there we go. This is only my my fourth time fighting him, so I don't. I, I I've watched my previous uh, things, so I have a bit of idea what I should try to do. Um, yeah, he's very good at closing distance, for example, like that. Oh no! Oh, he had a delayed attack. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm somehow doing all right. Okay, okay, okay. That was that was decent. That was a decent for the first attempt of the episode. I'm I'm very excited to be fighting him again. I only got one parry on, but uh, yeah. Um, I've I've been watching my previous episode, uh, like the two or three fights that I actually had with him, and I I, I saw some weaknesses. Like he he doesn't seem to have much. Uh, to do when you're behind him. Like I, I once I went behind him after parrying him, and he kind of just attacked to the side once before he could turn around. Uh, so uh, that seems to be a bit of a safe spot. Um, yeah, he ha he had a delayed attack where I, I just fought him right there, where he raised his arm up a bit. I can try remembering that for later. I want I, I I want to know if I can try parrying the one where he lunges towards me quickly, like you can with Quinn. I probably can, but it'll be hard. Oh, I can! Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing great at this boss. Okay, 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 this is good. Okay, that's the one which is safe. Oh, I tried to dodge, but I'm bad at the game. Oh, this is like Artorias, you can't. Okay, now I can. Oh, that's a very large combo. You, you, there's no safe healing spots unless you're really far away. There's okay, okay. That's like half his health. That's half his health. I can do this. Oh, bloody hell! What? Second phase. Okay, uh, this is good. This is good. I feel like I'm cheating a bit with parrying. Like it only takes two things to knock him down so much. He gets wings. Okay, okay, it's, it's, it, I, I've been struggling to parry, uh, learn how to parry in this game for basically the rest of the entire playthrough so far, and it's finally paying off now. I'm gonna, imagine if I died to this guy, like, a similar amount of time as the first rotted great wood. This doesn't count as a death because I die here. Okay. Also, I need to be eating these things. Okay, um, take rid of the, yeah. Green blossom. He looks like he's a bit deformed, like the wisp things. Ah, I'm not doing well this time. Okay, fair enough. That wasn't a good healing point. Uh, I mean, his face. You can see... He looks. Uh, let, let me let me show the item description again. This pontiff thing. The ha now harrowed spirits of Irithrol. Because I, I I let me find let me find one. Like for example, this guy. If you look at his face, he's all decrepit a bit. I, I wonder if that's what they mean by ah. Oh, he's harrowed now. And it, I wonder if, like, the same process has happened to Pontiff Sullivan, and that's why he became evil and everything. He don't have a he doesn't have a human face. There's like roots and vines growing all over it. Oh, everyone else dying as well. Okay, let me parry you. Do the thing. He's not doing the thing. He's not doing. He isn't doing the thing. Oh, you tricked me. 
Oh, he let me heal. Thank you, very kind of you. Oh, oh my, okay. Fair enough. I'm not sure if you can parry that one. Actually, I want to, I want to use his own sorcery against him. Can I, great, frozen, I can't use that. I can't, I can't use any of the pontiff uh, sorceries against him. The Sullivan sorceries, I read the item description when I was doing the Painted World variant. I wonder if like, he'll have a special reaction like, no, this is my stuff, can't do that. Is that like what he's putting on his other sword, his own sorcery? No, I'm all the way over there, here. The only way you can get to me now is doing the thing which I, you let me parry. Oh. I need, I need to learn his moveset, what things I can parry and when. Come on, do it, you know you want to. Oh, I didn't even do it properly that time. No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to eat some grass, I want to heal. Thank you for letting me do that. Okay, that was risky, but I still did it. I still managed to do it. Oh, I didn't get full damage because I'm not wearing the green. Okay. I'm doing it professionally now. Oh wait. Time for me to do the thing. Get some cheeky extra damage off. Wait, 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 eh? Wait, 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 wait. I didn't I didn't agree to this. That one shots me, oh no. There's two of them. Can I parry the ghost? I, I think the strategy is I want to get him as far into the second phase as possible. So I parry him once, then do regular attacks, and then just below he's at the halfway point. Then I parry him and get him down to like only a quarter of his health left. That was, that was stupid. Okay. Do the thing. That wasn't a thing! Oh. Oh yeah, by, by the way, um, I, I... I know there's some NPC quest lines. I, I heavily suspect that there's some NPC quest lines that I have to do before I fight this boss. And I, I, I ask for people to in the comments to... Just tell me if, if there was a place which I was supposed to go and then I could just wander around that place for a few minutes. But uh, no one did that, so I, I'm, I'm going to go around every place which I've been before and y you have no say in the matter. Also, I'm going to be talking about hollows. I never noticed there's a knight over there. There's just a guy. That Oscar, Oscar of Astora, I doubt it because his, how would his body have been preserved for so long? Just left out here. He died. He dies immediately in in Dark Souls One. Okay, it looks like there's nothing over here then. So on to Lothbrick. Okay, one thing which I've always been uh, curious about in in Dark Souls is. Every, everywhere you go across, it's all, it, you always seem to be fighting through exclusively uh, places filled with hollows. People who don't really have the agency to decide if they want to fight you or not. Uh, for, in, in Dark Souls One, okay, the I, I, I mean, like you have bosses which which know you're, they're fighting against you, but the the kingdoms you're going through, they they seem to be populated exclusively by hollows. Uh, like, 
Uh, undead settlement. Okay, maybe the tower demon knows he's fighting against you. I think the demons have a civilization and they're conscious. But other other than that, all hollows. The Black Knight. That's just a burnt spirit inside a suit of armor. Because like the kiln of the first flame, flame burnt them all. Then you move on to Undead Parish, same thing there. Undead, I mean, not the Undead. Blight Town, I think they're all hollows, just very stinky. Uh, Painted World of Ar Artemis, all hollows, yes. And, what's it called? Catacombs, the, the bit where you fight Pindu, I, I don't really know if the Skeletons can be considered hollows, but I, I, I will assume they are, because like, what, why would they need to fight us? And also they're dead, you need to be dead to be hollow. Oh yeah, Sen's Fortress. Sen's Fortress might actually have conscious beings in them. Like, it, guys, Seath sent out to fight you deliberately, and like they seem to be having work shifts and everything. Um, this this, this Lothric Knight, I think, is definitely hollow. Even, even though he's a knight and everything. Uh, in Dark Souls 3, uh, the, the, the first place we go through here, Lothric, they're all hollow hollows. This is a deserted kingdom. Apart from, like, maybe the dragons. So, okay, Sen's Fortress. Those are an organized group of people who know they're fighting you. Because... You don't really see much of civilization. It's kind of just briefly alluded to. With, oh yes, there's a kingdom of Astora, there's a kingdom of Katarina and Vinheim and everything. But you just get the occasional person who's going to the place you're going. Um, oh. I got dark leggings from that guy. I've changed my equipment a bit. This is Clorinthy Ring instead of Havel's Ring. I think he'll help me more because I'm, I'm still below 70% rate ratio. And this is very similar to the Lothric leggings. Apart from Slash, which is only three points lower. I, I think Pontiff Sullivan does uh, Slash. But he, he will still two-shot me either way. I think the in Demon Ruins and Lost Isolith. That's probably a civilization which you're fighting through, which they know they're fighting you. They, ha they have a reason to fight you. The demons, they're called demons, but they have a whole civilization. They're able to fight a war. I don't think they're able to go hollow. If they would, then they wouldn't be extinct, be like, becoming extinct, going endangered. I think I'm probably going to be killing off all the demons, <laughs> the last ones in this game, and I'm going to feel bad about it. I know in Anor Londo there's the Silver Knights. I don't know if they're hollow or not. Uh, you, you, you see them somewhat organized with the archers able to like, have a strategic spot to shoot to you. The, the Anor Londo archers where, they, where you have to run up the uh, thing. Like you get pushed off a lot. But that's the same with all hollows. They're, they're able to do like improvised ambushes and everything e e even even though they're dead and a bit mindless so i i think there's not really a way to tell if they're hollow or not i i do think they are as uh, you're you're supposed to be the chosen undead who's just taken into an onondo Every, everyone you're the chosen undead, you're going to link the fire. Everyone let this guy in. The, the only challenge is Ornstein and Smooth to test my strength. But no, all, all of the Silver Knights have gone hollow, so that's why they're, they are also attacking me as well. There's a lot of knights here. I feel like the knights should have a harder time going hollow because, oh, they're all strong-willed and uh, spent so long getting good at fighting. I, f I find it hard to believe that every single knight in Lothric has 
just gone hollow. Every single resident of Lothric has just gone hollow. Like, oh no, our kingdom's declining a bit. Well, time to give up forever. Time to permanently go hollow. That's another thing. Is it possible to stop going hollow? Like, if you if you think that someone's dead, then you think, oh no, I love that person so much. I'm guess I'm guess I'm going hollow now. I've lost reason to live. And then you find out. Well, you're, you can't find out you're hollow. And then that person who you thought is dead is brought to you. Do you, do you like, reverse hollow? Do you, do you become a person again who can think? Or do you just mindlessly try to attack that person? Uh, the same with... Uh, what, what if a hollow gets humanity and souls? Because um, when when you when you become hollow, you you lose all of your stuff, and that makes you go insane a bit. And gradually, you it becomes just harder to live until you go insane. Uh, you you lose the will to live, depending on how how strong-willed you are. So what 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 if a hollow finds all of is just brought a load of humanity and souls and everything? Does he become sane again? Does he, Maybe this game will answer it. This is supposed to be the big law game which tells you all the answers. I'm going to die. Well, I guess everyone that hasn't gone hollow has probably left at this point. Well then, like once, no, but it's like a, it's a gradual process. So, uh, the, some people have gone hollow, and then uh, the other other people think, oh, maybe we can still save this, and then they go hollow, and at that point, the kingdom is in complete disrepair, and everyone who hasn't gone hollow, they've probably fled, apart from this person here. Why haven't you gone away? Like. What's the point of staying here? What is wrong? Are you not a lord? Is this not the court? No, she has nothing new. Or is it just to stay here so... Because she has a purpose to guide all the Ashen One to go, Oh, you need to go this way to find all the lords for the first flame kindling. To link the fire. Yep. Haha, <laughs> funny. Hey, I'm not given the cutscene. I want the Batwing demons to come and do the thing. Oh wait, they're demons. I thought all the demons were going extinct, but they're still running a taxi service. Oh god. The undead settlement is huge. I'm, there's going to be having... I'm going to have to do so much running around everywhere here. Oh no, these guys are going to get attacked by the dogs. I need to save them. Oh, I'm doing good. No, I accidentally killed one of them. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I saved almost all of you. Yeah, this is, this is your fault, you murderer. Who closed the door? I hate dogs. That's an item which I missed. And we're bone. Okay. Okay, undead settlement. These these guys all seem hollow, like the thieves as well. Uh, they, they, they're they thieves, but they don't have a reason to attack me. I, mean, I, I could I could take their hood off for them, but they're hollow, so they just go and attack me. Grey Rat isn't hollow, so he doesn't attack me. I need to talk to him again. He still wants to go to Irithril, but I don't want him to die. And maybe he dies. I don't know. No NPC has died yet, so I'm scared. Uh, th th has any... Horus has died. Only one NPC has died, and that's rather tame compared to Dark Souls 1. Ooh, I can one-shot them. 
There might be an NPC in the sunlight altar room. Esther soon. No? Okay. Why was the sunlight medal here? Hey, who are you? I never got here before. Oh no. Oh, I almost killed myself. Free item. Oh, there's a couple items which I missed. Soul. I don't need that. Oh, I managed to not die. And Titanite Shard. All a bit useless. But I'm glad I'm doing everything. I think the world is supposed to be even worse off here than it was in Dark Souls 1. Um, what's it called? Oh yeah, because we're told that Astora, that's a place which is which is ruined now. It said it, it, um, uh, some item description. I think in the character creation it said, "Oh yes, the Astora face looks very noble. It's a reminder that they used to be all strong and powerful." So I think Astora is also probably ravaged by Hollows now. Uh, Katarina, I get the sense, idea that they're doing all right, but not as well as Dark Souls One, because they they're still able to produce knights. Like saying, Sigurd saying, "Oh, I'm a knight of Katarina." It seems to be a distinguished position. The Duke's archives, that's filled with hollows. Are the six-eyed channelers hollow? Maybe, because the the one in the undead parish, uh, he's not being attacked by all the other hollows surrounding him. Oops. No. So yeah, the, even even the six side channelers who are supposed to protect Seath have gone hollow. I mean, the only guys who I fight are some bosses, and even then it's debatable. Like Gwyn, is Gwyn hollow? So yeah, the only civilization which we actually see in Dark Souls One is maybe the Demon Ruins. Maybe Anolondo, and probably the most civilized spot we see is just a prison, basically, Sen's Fortress. And even then, it's entirely possible for the snakes to be hollow. Because I think they, they were humans which were experimented on. I would like to find an Outrider Knight again. Because I cheesed it completely. I want to see if I can parry it. I want to fight it properly. Wait, wait, what? Uh, what happened to you? What? Are you dead? No! Oh no, I kind of wish that I didn't go around to try to complete NPC quest lines now. Wait, what, what killed you? I agree. Oh god, I, I haven't been a, to a birch tree in so long, so I I, I don't know if... I, the, the, the last time I was at a birch tree, I, I was getting assistance from this guy. That, that was at the Cathedral of the Deep. Does he just die of old age or something? He, he, he is impaled in the legs. Maybe that's the reason. He was also impaled in the legs before I saw him, but maybe, maybe he died after the Deacons of the Deep. Oh, the Giants are very nice. I don't like them when they die. I don't like it when they die. Also, my weapon just phases through him. Look at that. Wonder if, uh, yeah, my archers does, archery does as well. I don't think this guy is goth. He would have said if he's goth, but he has his ring. Goff's ch child or something. I don't know. Let's read the eye. Yay! Which one? This one? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. Ring associated with Hawkeye Goff. One of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. Extends the range of arrows. In his later years, the giant Goff was blinded. But this did not prevent him from striking down a cam calamitous dragon with his great bow. Yeah, I, I did that. I fought, I, I fought the dragon. Calamite. Also, there seems to be a lot of ways of people going insane and trying to fight me. Like Solaire, finding the maggots and wanting to fight me. Also, just the standard going hollow. And now there's the... Also, Seath 
probably lots of the fire keepers who attack you. Like those tentacle snake thingies. And after you get captured and escape prison, I don't really know what to call them. Uh, they they were probably made insane in some way, maybe or maybe not. They're hollow. They're they they're probably hollow. But also there's the outrider knights, the moving or the the irithral guys. Because Pontiff Sullivan gave them rings which make them insane. I don't think they've actually gone hollow. So. Maybe some of them, which are less beast-like than the others, are consciously fighting me. It seems like... It said that Vort was far into the process of getting transformed into an animal. And the Outrider Knight as well. But the ones inside Ir Irithril of the Boreal Valley, they seem to be still mostly human they, they st still seem to be mostly human so maybe they still have loyalties to pontiff sullivan and they're honor bound to fight me oh yeah also uh, in ulasil i think most of the humans there uh they they haven't gone hollow but they, they have been corrupted by the abyss and that's why they attack me so that's another way of going insane and attacking everyone Oh, that happens a lot in Dark Souls. There always seems to be some people who just pretend that everything is okay. There's no hollows here. Like the sorcerer merchant guy from over here. Uh, who was just... I can't find how to get up there now, but he was he was up there and I convinced him to come to Firelink Shrine. And I'll be his student or something. He, he, he was just studying there like he wasn't completely surrounded by mindless murder monsters the crystal sage has probably gone hollow as well like what what reason would the sage have to stop me from going to the cathedral or the deep it seems like no one really likes the deep that much because of aldrich and sullivan and all of the murder they got to get up to all of the morally not very nice things they do all the time always is this what the cage guy meant by Nana's, the Nana cage thing? Is, is this the cage? Grandson carries the cage. A Nana, another Nana disappears. Are those filled with Nanas? Bananas. The evangelists, I think surprisingly might not be hollow because they actually speak to me and that seems to be the defining thing for if you're hollow or not if you're able to speak to me then then you're not hollow and the all of the guys here they've been brainwashed by the evangelists before they went hollow so they naturally just don't attack the evangelists and I think maybe the Avengers are just, are just insane for some other reason. Or they just hate me and they want to kill me because the Cathedral of the Deep. Ooh, look, my message here. No drag... Is this a reference to Dark Souls 1? Like how Calamite would land on the bridge and also the Hellkite Great Drake would land on the bridge. And oh look, we finally have a bridge which uh, Dragon doesn't land on. What about the two hunters here? Were they hollow? I'm, I'm, oh, that's another place, an organized place in Dark Souls 1, which hadn't been completely hollow. The Forest Hunters Covenant, they, they were exclusively people who knew what they were doing. And I could join them and they would be friendly to me. And like they had a whole area under their control. Okay, okay, that's cool. And if there'll be another place like that where I can actually fight against normal humans who know what they're doing. But here... They don't really have a reason to be here. I don't know how they managed to not look at like a wrinkled raspberry raisin thing. Because that's what hollows look like. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just looking for... It was a brigand and a bandit or something. Maybe they were looking to steal my stuff. But I killed them and I kept coming back. What happens if you kill someone in Dark Souls? And then you like steal their sword or something? Take, take away all of their stuff. 
and then because it's Dark Soul, like the Dark Sign brings them back. But I'm I'm going to die. Do, do they do they does all the stuff you stole off them? Does it automatically teleport to where they are? Or I'm out of Estus. Or does it? Okay, you're left with that. You're, you've you've lost that permanently now. These guys, they're hollow. Wait. You're in the well? Anyone there? Anyone at all? Sigwood? Oh. I know that voice. Just how long is Too long. I've been looking for you everywhere. It's me. Siegfried of Katarina. I'm no I, I know. I, I have a funny thing to do. Patches! Did you happen to see it anywhere? No, I have seen it. I, 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 what? Oh, yes. I see. Just as I was talking about having your armor like ripped off, what happens if you Great respawn again? Yeah, well, it seems like he didn't die I though. Okay, I like this guy. He might even be better than uh, Sigmeyer. Oh, I need to have a talking to with Patches. Um, this uh, Also, this guy, uh, Sigward in Dark Souls 1, he, he goes hollow because he, he wants to do his own quest and become a big hero. But you keep taking it away from him and he feels worthless. But here, I, I, I don't think that will happen because when... We, when when you get to the elevator, the he's he's like, oh no, I can't figure this out. So you come along and say, oh, let me have a go at this. Let me look at it, and you go down in the elevator. He stays there, and he sees that the elevator. Once I go down, there's another top bit which he can stand on. So like, oh look, it's a it's a group collaboration. I wouldn't have been able to work it out without him, and he wouldn't have been able to work it out without me. So so he he feels happy. He's he's done a thing himself, and he's the one who helps me, who bails me out when I go to fight the demon. And, and he's like, oh yes, let us celebrate this. So patches, oh I'm very angry with you. Oh, I don't want to give Sig. With the Katarina armor, I want to be able to wear it. Are these guys hollow? Probably. I'll probably lose all hope in my life if I look like these idiots. Patches, I'm here to get angry at you. Hello again. Can't resist it. There's no way to talk to you. I, uh, I'm gonna have to buy this. I could. I should probably stock up on some. Human, he's got unlimited human and alluring skulls. Okay, I should probably stock up on some of these things. His armor actually seems to be rather decent from a, a weight to absorption ratio. Yeah. Uh. Thank you. Thanks, good com. Okay, now patches. I love you. You are a great NPC, but I also love Sigward. So I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to have to punch you in the face. Stop this! Stop this at once! No, that's your punishment. Sigward, I'm coming for you. Thank you very much. I, I wouldn't have found Sigward if you weren't here praying. Because Hol Hollows are able to carry on doing similar stuff to what they were... Like, mimic the actions of what they were doing before they went hollow. And off they, they also despair a lot. Like the Hollows in New Londo. Like, oh no, our entire place has been burnt... Has been flooded to... The it's not been burnt, it's been the opposite of burnt. It's been flooded to the 
ground. Yes, I'm going to be sad for the rest of eternity. I'm in quite a pickle indeed. Maybe I can fashion a replacement from uh, mm. Yeah, I feel like him a lot of the time too. I've got to use my head and think. Mm. Oh wait, I forgot to do the funny thing. Um the funny thing. <laughs> oh, well, that didn't work. Maybe I can try it with this. <laughs> oh, I'm worse than patches. Okay, I'll throw the armor in now. What happens if I do nothing? Nothing. Throw armor. How are you going to get out now? Out. Where do you go now? Violent shrine, maybe. Church of Yorkshire, maybe? No need with my truck until <laughs> I need to find him. Sigward! Where are you? Yeah, I was talking a bit before about how some people just ignore all the hollows like that sorcerer guy who I'm about to see right here. Uh where is he? Like this guy. Back There's the also like the undead merchant in again. Dark Souls one. He's just setting up shop in a abandoned place where no one's going to go. And he's his only customers are people who want to kill him. Ah, there I, am. <laughs> I don't mean to seem overbearing, but have you forgotten? In exchange for my sorceries, you are to bring me knowledge. I brought you two books. Detailing the secrets of sorcery. I brought you two books and you were very happy with them. To break a promise. You just said that I didn't break I a promise. Mean to in the fight. Come again. When, when, I, when I brought you the Farron scroll, you were like, oh, thank you for not forgetting our promise. Sigurd? Sigurd? Oh no, Sigurd isn't here. Where am I going to find him? I don't know if that he's gone somewhere which isn't Irithril, the Burial Valley or not. I don't want to go through the entirety of the Catacombs of Carthus. Maybe you have something to say to Patches. Can't find anything. Oh, you could try. When do you go to Firelink Shrine? Was Sigurd only stuck in the well because he didn't want to come out without his suit of armor on? Or, or does he need his suit of armor in order to escape? Like somehow that will make it easier to climb out. He's not in here anymore. I also want to see what happened to that little cave where I killed Horus. Did anything else happen there now that I uh, killed him, talked to Anri, gone away for a bit? Absolutely nothing! Let's go! I give up, I'm fighting. Pontiff Sullivan a bit until I get bored and start looking for NPCs a bit and then get bored and start fighting Pontiff Sullivan. I'm not going to get bored fighting Pontiff Sullivan until I become not bored enough to start looking everywhere again. Oh, probably Central Erythral. Or maybe outside of Erythral. Do 
He's not in there. Tuck. <gasps> quest line, quest line, stuff. I can get summoned. Oh. Oh, this is exciting. Hello. Hello, I'm here. I'm off to do st S serious. I remember her. She she was a summoned for the deacons of the deep. Who are you? No. Okay. Whoops. I, I was being reckless. I just wanted to parry. Okay. I I remember her. She she was the she was a guy who said. Uh, that that she would help me. There, there, she, she appeared in Firelink Shrine once, and then I, I could summon her for Deacons of the Deep, and I could probably summon her for other things as well. But I, I didn't. I wasn't tempered. Um. And now, now, now she can summon me, but I'm I'm absolutely horrible. I'm, yeah, not good. Okay, I want to parry. I want to parry the invader. Like uh, this is this is really convenient how I can just get there immediately. Sorry, wait. How is that? You should have attacked there in my personal opinion. Seems that I'm bad at the game. Just want to parry. I'm going to need to do this if I want to get good at parrying for PvP. If I can't even parry an NPC, then I can't do it for real players. I pressed the parry button. I'm sorry, Sirius. You're going to have to keep fighting him. Just keep summoning me. I'm going to help eventually. What's the Sunless Realms? Just come on. Just a little bit of parry, please. I can do with a backstab. You should heal yourself now. I was a parry, you stupid! I was a parry, I should have been parry, you stupid! Parry, I Let's go! Wow, I'm so good at parrying. <laughs> Who reduces damage from backstabs? That would have been nice to have in Dark Souls 1. PvP. Mm, you almost got me. Thanks for not attacking him when I could have parried him. Oh, you bollocks. Let's go. No. Mm. 
no healing for you. Okay, you're welcome. It only took 50 attempts. Am I going to become Ember Thank now? Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. It might have been kind assistance, but it wasn't helpful. Am I supposed to fight Qu Crichton the Wanderer by myself? Is there a third invader for this place? Which I don't know about. Oh, I thought I would have gotten an ember for that. Sigward! Does that mean I can summon her for now for Pontiff Sullivan? She said blessing of the moon upon you as the sunless realms like the dark moon area. I'll try checking the Chalk Church of Yorkshire again. Please. Please, someone be here. No. Thank you. I see your unkindled. You aren't Yol. For a pilgrim such as I, all tucked in and awaiting death, to have this honor, this presage is a most glorious death indeed. Praise thee. Praise thee. What? Are you, are you praising me because I'm going to find the Lord of Cinders? For a pilgrim such as I, for this pray. Why? Well, what, what are you doing? Thank you very much, both of you. This pray. You, you, I, I know someone just like you. I know a guy who I could like hook you up with. Yol of Yol of Yondor. He just. He, he sounds a bit less pathetic than you, but yeah, you both seem to like me a lot, so you have that in common. Like me a lot for some reason. Maybe there's someone. In oh, maybe there's someone in the Esther soup area, just sampling the Esther soup with me. Who wouldn't love a good bit of Esther's soup? Sigward! There you are! I knew it! Oh yes, a fine connoisseur of Esther's soup, just like myself. Uh, oh, 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 excuse me, I... I I'm gonna doze, doze off. off, I'm gonna do the sleep gesture as well. Yeah. It's rather warm in here. I wonder yeah. why. Oh, it hasn't been all too long. It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so... Chance to do what? I, Siegfried of Katarina... Oh, yes. ...offer my deepest gratitude. It's going to be about, like, 12,000 souls. to go with it. It's all yours. Ooh, what oh. is it? Mid force. Oh, I wish that I could actually use that. Let me, let me sleep as well. Yeah, we're both sleeping. It's a very nice fire. What do you think of my Esther soup? It's mine now. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? Yes. I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. I just ate it. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. Yes, more Sigbrow! To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. Oh. Long may, Long may the, the sun, sun shine. shine. Love me, Esther Soup. No, I don't want I don't want to sleep. Do the do the thing. Yay. Have you heard? Somewhere, 
hidden right here. It's not quite a, hidden. It's just it's a deep easily deep accessible. And even below that, the, the profane, profane capital, capital. home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me, I have a grave promise to keep. What's the grave promise? Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a That's what you were just doing. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. Yeah, that's what you said last <laughs> time. <laughs> okay, okay, that that's that's what I wanted. I have one last thing to do. I, I, I want to see if I can summon anyone for any NPCs for your Oops. Ah, it doesn't matter, just kill me. Okay, well now I know where to find Yorm at least. Oh, then uh, where's Aldrich? I, I saw there was a fog gate uh, past Pontiff Sullivan. Maybe Aldrich is past that fog gate. If Yorm the Giant is uh, past Irithral Dungeon and then the Profane Capital. Okay, okay, I'm happy. I, I did all the questline stuff myself. There's probably one or two things which I'm missing. Let me, let me check Firelink Shrine quickly to see if the two pilgrims have met. I think they would like each other. Serious? Oh wait, no, no, there's a couple of things I still have to do. I have not thanked you for your generous rescue. You already have. You said thanks. That dark spirit was one of Rosaria's fingers. Vile, oh, wait a second. offspring who lurk in the darkness. My sworn enemies. There's a guy that there's Fearsome one of them just over there, you're least. staring at him. I would not have made it alone. You have my deepest gratitude. Yeah, um, that there's another Rosaria finger right there. Ooh, silver cat ring and blessed mail breaker. If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. What do you think now? If you require help on your I'm travels, a Vizaria finger. I offer you my sign. I'm a Vizaria finger. I'm going to invade people. Blessing of the moon upon your hey, journey. Hey, I'm your sworn enemy. Thanks for the blessing. Let's see what this ring does. I like Sirius now. She was a bit forgettable, but she's good now. Prevents damage from falling. Oh, that's cool. I already have spook, though. Possibly just following it. Uh, silver ring depicting a leaping feline. Prevents damage from falling. In the age of gods, or possibly just following it, an old cat was said to speak a human tongue. With the voice of an old woman, uh, Alvina, and uh, the form of a fanciful, uh, the fanciful mortal. I know of Alvina, but not of a shape-shifting Alvina. Ah, uh, I think they've removed amazing Chester head. Dark Souls 3, you could only write it in Dark Souls 1, so I can only say, like, amazing view ahead now instead. Gorgeous view ahead. What happened to you? Oh. Hey. I don't, I don't know what happened. People are just dying now. Uh, there was only Horus, but now the giant's dead. Now we, I, I don't even need to do anything. They're just dropping like flies. What happens if I hit you? Can I talk to you? No. So no, I, I just I don't want to hit you. I can't kick. Yeah, kick like that. Okay, now. Embers. See if I can summon anyone, just just, for, to, just out of curiosity. Well, actually, I can probably try um, giving the sig sig brow to the snuggly crow. There's a thing there. No, let me see. Let me see. 
No, I have black hand got hard. Who the hell are you? Okay, wait, wait. Let me let me homeward bone. Which one? Gorgeous view ahead. <laughs> I just made that one as well. Do I fight Crichton the Wanderer at some point? Or am I supposed to? I just don't know where. And I'm bored of all of this NPC questline stuff. I just want to fight Pontiff. Oh, for a pilgrim such as this, pray. You still don't have anything to say. Okay, so there's Crichton the Wanderer here. Is there anyone else? Just Crichton the Wanderer? No, not Crichton. I mean, Black Hand got hard. I'm actually going to summon you just so I can explore over there a bit because I think there might have been a couple of things which I missed. And also I use the finger. If I have it. Oh no, I think I don't have the finger. Hey what? Buy my sword. Oh, I should have been summoning people just to get the gestures. Okay, sorry, I'm going to have to leave you again. Sorry. It's the Black Hands. Black Hand got hard. Is, is the Black Hand like another covenant? I know there was like a, a Serbian group, the Black Hand Gang, who killed Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Am I, it's, it's, I think it would be funny if Franz Ferdinand was a boss in this game. <laughs> the final goal of any Ashen One become the catalyst for World War One. Okay, what's the item description for this? Used to strengthen connection to other worlds, allowing summon of third phantom. Oh, I didn't even need the finger because I can already summon two. Okay, my mistake. If only I had a youth. What? Is this Pontiff Sullivan? I, I don't know. Is that a deacon? Maybe. Uh... This is the same guy. I feel a bit dirty for summoning phantoms on a soul level one run. But this is also a blind playthrough. I need to try to experience everything. I haven't seen that before. Black Hand got her to save me. it can be a collaborative effort if you really insist. I kind of rushed through this area. I might have found everything, but I also could have easily missed a couple of things. Wah! No, I don't, I don't want to die. To, no, I don't want to eat a green blossom either. I hope he knows how to go down ladders. And doesn't just drop down here. Nope. Nothing. Go up. Go up. You idiot. Go 
Robot Todd is nowhere to be seen. I have been abandoned. Come over here. Okay, what the hell is going on? I'm still climbing. Ah! I hate dogs! Woman? Yes. Okay, don't don't fight that. We we have to go over here. Goth Gothard. If you have Estus, you should probably use it. Yes. I see you have problems with dogs as well. Oh, this is a this dog is really good at dodging stuff. Okay, now come over here. The dog's dead, you don't need to keep beating it. No, you idiot! Oh, now I'm gonna have to go down and get you. Okay, on here. I feel like I'm leading around a child. Onto the thing, come on. Yeah. A little bit this way, a little bit this way, come on. Got it! Okay. Yes, I'm over here. Now continue following me. Over here, yes! Go on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. No! Oh, you stupid guy! Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now... Why? Why do you need to look at this wall? Go onto the platform! <laughs> Come on, just... Push him a little bit. Right here. Okay, yeah, yeah, so you know how to follow me. Now continue doing that, but like over here. I, I saw that you could get onto the platform, it just... No! <laughs> oh, you idiot. I'm, I'm just gonna leave you here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna banish you, actually. And there's no summon signs over here. So time to fight Pontiff Sullivan again. That was a very long break from fighting Pontiff Sullivan. Do the thing. Do the thing which I can parry. I didn't parry it. Run. Wait, just get good at parrying or die. And I chose to die. Oh, there's my ember. I wanted to at least bend my ember on a somewhat good attempt. Okay, I need to parry a bit earlier than when I was doing before. Now that I've gotten one six, I think I, I there's room for another parry. Yeah. Three parries, actually. Three parries, and then he'll go on to his second phase. Oh, never mind. Okay. Two, two it is. Oh, no.
Ah. Okay. This is because of a jumping attack. I'm attacking him. I don't. I don't want to cheese this guy by like doing as much health as possible into his third phase. I want to learn his everything. Okay. What happens if I shoot him from over here? Do you just let me attack him? Am I too far out of range? Ah! No! I'm do I'm bumbling. That wasn't a parry, somehow. Ah, I forgot about the follow-up. Okay, that was careless. Yeah, there we go. Yes, he can't do it properly. Oh, never mind. He's fine. Oh, it's a bit above half health. Okay, okay. So I attack him twice, or th two or three times maybe, and then I parry him. I wasn't even looking at the health. I was too focused on fighting him. I think I, I would like it more if the first phase had more health. Seems he's a bit squishy. He dies quickly. He's a bit of a glass cannon, actually. Maybe the backslash thing wouldn't be able to hit me, but it was. I might just upgrade my mace. I'm, I'm going to do that after I die this time. Upgrade my mace to plus seven, I think it is now. Yeah, to plus seven. I am getting rather consistent with doing this. I didn't think you were going to do another one. Okay, but this is a good health. This is where I do the second parry. I just want to see if I can do it. If it works, my strategy. There we go. There goes the chances of using my... I'm an idiot! That's the wrong way! <laughs> I just upgraded the wrong way. <laughs> Pretty be careful. No! Oh, no! I just upgraded... <laughs> That's the wrong weapon. I can't upgrade my hammer now for a very long time unless I want to go to the DLC again. Oh god, that's stupid. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna give my sick brow to Snuggly the Crow, and hopefully Snuggly will give me something good. Maybe they'll ease the pain a bit. Maybe another bit of Solar gear. Actually, what happens if I drop this? Pickle, Pickle P. Very good. Oh, I want to try that. Very good. Pump. Oh, it's armor. It's 
can't. It's armor. Armor over the sun. Let's go. How good is it? Uh, unfortunately, it's worse than my slave knight gear. I would wear it otherwise. Um, chain mail armor, something, something. The choice attire of a singular knight of sunlight from a previous age. The symbol was painted by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. Very good. Very good. Okay, let, let's test the cat ring. It worked! Okay. So it's just a, a... It's a spook replacement. God, I... Can't believe I spent... <laughs> my chunks on the wrong weapon. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, going good so far. Now I attacked him once from the back. I can't see! No! Oh, that was going good as well. Let's go. When's the last time I failed that parry? There we go. I'm getting quite good at this boss. the hell is going on? Ah, no! No, 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 let me parry. I was, I parried. What the hell is going on? Okay, I have a lot to learn for the second phase. I'm. I th I think I did a lot of NPC questline stuff. This might be a shorter episode. I I've really gotten into the bad habit of making episodes far too long. So I think I'll end this episode here and uh, fight finish fighting Pontiff Sullivan next time. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>